Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to do a very highly requested video. It's going to be a series of videos um, about medication. I know some of you guys have been writing me in my inbox, what have you, asking about, you know, what do you take? You claim you take all this medicine, but we've never seen it. So I'm going to show you and talk about each and every one of them. It's side effects, how it makes you feel, you know, this, this, and that. Everything we want to know when we start a new medication. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the most simplest drug, I mean, that you would probably start on if you have a autoimmune disease, lupus, what have you. So we're gonna jump right into the video in just a moment. Okay, so the first medication, and I take a lot of medications. Um, you guys know I talk about how I take about maybe like 18, I have done lost count by now, and you guys are probably like, where's all the medicine? Where are the medicines you're taking? You claim to take all this medicine. Here it is. All this, I take all this daily. Um, so there it is. And that's not even, obviously, all of it. There's some that I need to get, but that's what I take. Um, yeah, so the reason why I haven't made these videos yet is because medication, with this illness, medication is probably the most overwhelming things that I have to deal with. One, because, you know, I take so many different ones and get them prescribed at different times. You know, I'm at the pharmacy like every two weeks because, you know, I'll get prescribed one a month before then two weeks after that month. I am always at the pharmacy. So that's one reason why medicine is so irritating and just two, I just hate taking medications all the time. Like, no one wants to be sitting around popping pills and you know just side effects from medication it makes you feel ill in itself you know trying to maintain and not even cure a disease with 18 plus medications i mean you sometimes you just sit back and think like why in the world am i taking this you know I, it's not curing me why in the world do i have to take all this you know just to maintain you know just to maintain at, at a decent I mean as good as you're gonna get level I mean why do I have to take all this so that's why I haven't done any videos on medication because oh I just hate it I honestly don't want to talk about it but you guys have so many questions people inbox me write me all the time uh, about medicine so I'm gonna do a series I'm not sure how often I would post because that's just how lupus life is when you have an illness like I just woke up well, not really woke up. I've been in bed all day. I just was able to get out of bed. So, I, you know, I, I can't make any commitments to too much of anything. But the first medication out of my big bin that I want to talk about, since this is introductory, this medication is probably the first medication you will be put on if you have an auto, autoimmune disease or any type of disease that is inflammatory that causes inflammation. So that first disease, I mean, that first medication is the dreaded prednisone. So this is it, prednisone. This is my 20 milligram bottle. So with prednisone, you can kind of tweak your dosage, okay? So you might do like what you call, some people call prednisone burst or, or a burst pack or what have you, where um, you'll do a taper. So if you... If you feel like you're going into, if you're not on prednisone and you feel like you're going into a flare, the doctor may say, hey, I need you on prednisone. I need you on 80 milligrams for a week, then down to 60 milligrams for the next week, then down to 40, then blah, 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 all the way till you taper off. It could take two to three months to taper off. Um, so it's very, it's very common. So some people, like myself, are not able to get off of uh, prednisone. So I currently, I started at 80 milligrams when I was in the hospital back in December when I first diagnosed. Um, I think I started at 80 or maybe I was on almost like, I think I was, 
for a few days I was 100 milligrams because they were like whoa this chick is in too much pain she's swelling out of nowhere we don't know what's going on so they just put me on like 100 milligrams and then I guess they thought about it and I was like okay let's put her down to 80 she can take 80 milligrams for so and so amount of days you know as I can as I got off the hospital and then when I saw my rheumatologist you know they put me on 60. So it can be prescribed to you what I know of you know if you know any more information put in the comments below but uh, in 20 milligram capsules and 10 milligram capsules I think that's the most common because you can just take as many as you need to equal up to whatever milligram you want you can cut them in half and quarters what have you um so it's very simple and let me tell you these things are disgusting like I try to put them on the back of my tongue as far as possible and swallow them and I have to take them with some type of juice or even if I if I take with some certain medication I have to drink a whole glass of water so I'm one of those pill poppers who like put all 18 pills in their mouth and just go up and I'm done but some of those medications require you drink a whole glass of water so I'll flush it down with the whole glass of water and I'm taking all of them. Then I'll follow up with a chaser, literally. Like, I have to chase this nasty prednisone with some type of juice. It just leaves this unexplainable, yicky taste in your mouth. Like, this is the most disgusting pill that I've ever taken in my life. I mean, and some people say potassium is really disgusting. Guys prednisone is the most disgusting thing so to go along with this disgustingness if that's even the word um it has very disgusting side effects too um it is the most simple drug for inflammatory diseases the most basic as you can get um probably for some not as effective for some this is the only thing that they need so like I said, I can't get off of this prednisone. I take mine daily. I wish I was at the point where, oh, I feel a flare coming on. Take some prednisone and it's over. No, I'm already on it and flares are coming on. So, you know, and 20 milligrams a day is still considered a high dose. Lower doses are like 5 to 10 milligrams daily. So, um, but I'm proud of myself for getting down to this point because... Like one of the side effects when you're coming down off of it, I'm going to talk about first since I'm already here. Probably this much up. It's withdrawals. Um, any medication you can have withdrawals from it after being on it, especially for a long period of time. And um, withdrawals from medication can actually make your pain worse. Um, either with you coming off of it or doing a taper down off of it step by step milligram by milligram coming off of it so um i have taken a taper method finally got down to 20 percent and guys it has been the worst struggle i mean just to get down to 20 milligrams literally having to you know chop up this prednisone you know taking off a milligram you know taking off a little piece of the pill just to try not to feel withdrawal effects from it because it's real and it's not withdrawal like you start going crazy like you you know you're on crack type of withdrawal it's like you know you need to be in a nut house it's a mental like a mental issue no it's withdrawals like your your pain increases i mean it's different from everybody some people don't have withdrawals they can come off with cold turkey like they never been on it before but no now with me this increases my pain even more when i withdraw when i um, taper down so usually I have to go through that. I go, once I taper down, I go into flare every time. I'm supposed to be down to 16 milligrams. My doctor has told me twice within like the last two months that I need to go down and just haven't, you know, been able to successfully do that. Um, or I would definitely end up in the hospital. Probably, yeah. Definitely end up in the hospital, which I'm starting to think that when I do taper, I might need to be in the hospital. Like, I might need to be admitted to get off of this because my withdrawal effects are just terrible. So, um, I take this. It was prescribed to me as the first medication that I started taking for lupus. Um, this was before they even knew that I had 
um, lupus. Before I had a name to this disease, it was prescribed to me. Um, basically, what can I, what else can I say off it? Like off the top of my head from my experience. Um, yeah, so they may prescribe this to you before they even, like I said, have a name to what you have. They just know you have some type of inflammatory disease. Usually, they're able to tell this from your blood work, like, okay, she has, you know, or he has an inflammatory disease. We just don't know which one it is yet. Because, guys, it's so many. That's why these illnesses are so hard to diagnose. So, um, yeah, so this is it. Let me show you a picture. I never smelled it. You know. Okay, so... This is the size of a 20 milligram pill. Not sure if the tin is smaller, but it looks like this. Just a white pill. Not big at all. Um, so that's basically it. Some of the side effects, of course, starting a medication that you haven't tried before, you can have an allergic reaction to it. Meaning itching, you know, high, swelling of the face, you know, or trouble breathing. So that's one thing to always look out for you know when you're starting any medication one especially prednisone um i didn't have any reaction to it my body actually doesn't respond too well to prednisone but i still have to take it being that i took it so much in my childhood when i dealt with childhood cancer so you know certain medications just aren't effective for you after you've taken them for so long and you know unfortunately that's the case for me of course um another thing if you notice like skin changes like skin color changes that can be a side effect um it's probably not a common side effect i don't know if you have it you know let me know but it can change your your skin colors you can get dark freckles um you know just different stuff like that i i've never had it so i can't talk much on it it can cause, you know, like some medications, depression, unusual thoughts and feelings and behavior. But um, being on prednisone, to be 100% honest, like, I have noticed not behavioral changes in this round when I started back. I did have, I don't, behavioral changes is when I mean like depression, um, in feelings different feelings like that I have noticed that but I don't know if that has been from particularly prednisone or the disease itself because I'm gonna be honest I tried to stop cold turkey with this and guys I was messed up like I was sick for for weeks so it probably wasn't this I'm not sure but it can cause these things, so definitely be aware. And it's so hard for me to tell because I started on so many medications at once. It's kind of hard to tell, like, if certain things are really working for me unless you come off of them. So, and then again, I don't have the blood sugar coming off this, so I don't know. So, you know, I do have, you know, trouble sleeping. That is definitely another big issue and a common issue with people on prednisone. They say, you know, try not to take it at night before bed or whatever, close to your bedtime, because it can cause that type of issue. I can vouch to that one. Um, when I get prednisone, like infusions or, you know, shots, like they do, it does. I can tell that I have tr difficulty sleeping, you know, for the next few days. Like I cannot fall asleep straight insomnia when I'm on this stuff. But, um... I honestly caught 20 milligram a lower dose, but when on doses like this, I don't notice any trouble sleeping. But like I said, it's different for everybody. Another thing, you can get weakness. Um, that was an issue with me. They were trying to figure out if I'm having weakness from lupus or weakness from, you know, prednisone, being on prednisone because it's very common. To be honest, I really don't think it's the steroids. I think it's... I think it's a disease, and we came down to it that it is a disease, but it can cause weakness. It can cause tiredness, obviously. Um, not like drowsy, like you just, you know, pop some hydrocodons and all that stuff. No, not that type of, you know, not that type of feeling. But it can make you feel weak. But when I said weakness, I meant weakness like in your mus muscles. So let me clear that up. Okay, so the next thing it can cause is nausea. 
anything that you're dumping into your stomach, any medication, because medications are helpful but are harmful, obviously, that we, you know, with us going on this list. So nausea, anything you dump into your stomach can irritate your stomach, which will cause nausea, vomiting, possible diarrhea, even constipation, but the most, um, you know, the most, I, I've been losing my thought, guys. That's, that's my condition. But mostly nausea and vomiting with prednisone. So another one, fever and chills. That can happen. It hasn't happened to me. Sore throat, body aches. That goes along with weakness, which my body already aches because of the type of autoimmune disease that I have. You know, it's kind of hard to tell what you have from side effects or from the disease. Um, severe stomach pain. I have issues for my condition with stomach pain. So don't know if it's all my condition and, you know, with some added treats from this stuff. So who knows? I won't be able to know until we come off of it. And that's for a lot of people. You just don't know. And headache. You know, that's another thing that a lot of people, you know, get with any type of medicine. Um, prednisone being one of them. Side effects is headache. So, another thing that I want to talk about, um, one of the most common side effects of prednisone is increased appetite and weight gain and the moon phase. So, if you watched a lot of my videos before or if you just knew me in person, you probably wondered, oh my gosh, she looks so, she looks so sick. Yes, I was so sick, but... Part of the way I looked, my appearance was because of this medication. So I get the moon face that you guys can see that my moon face have gone down a lot. If from the time you probably watched my first video, um, I guess my body is just used to it anymore. I'm not having that side effect. It comes and goes. Sometimes I notice my face more round than others. Um, that happens with a lot of people that I talk to. But I do get the round, puffy moon face and increase of appetite. Um, when you're on higher doses, I know a lot of people notice increased appetite, but when they're in like mid dosage, they don't notice anything. And then on the smallest doses, some people notice a lot of appetite um, changes. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but that's what I've heard. But me personally, um, I'm on 20 milligrams, which is considered mid high for a daily dose. That's high to be taken daily. So I guess it would be high, but um, I don't have an increase of appetite. I did at one time, but I don't. Um, I don't know if that's due to effects of me being so used to the medication. Like when I first started, I had that issue, but, you know, you get used to stuff and stuff starts to dissipate, you know, thank God, especially this one, because it does, you know, result to weight gain, which is another side effect. So, um, basically, my, I do not have increased appetite. I basically don't have an appetite at all. I've been going through these issues with my stomach, with lupus, and I really don't have too much of an appetite. There's only certain things that I want to eat, and those are the only things that I probably can eat if my body decides to hold it down. So, um... That's another thing I want to talk about, like, um, with prednisone, it's, like I said, it's given mostly to people with um, inflammatory diseases, but it was given to me back when I was having treatment for Hodgkin's lymphoma, cancer of the lymph node, when I was a child, and I know you guys are probably like, oh, you like a child, no, I'm 25, I wish I was a child again, but because this increases your appetite, they give this to cancer patients. So that they can eat, so they don't lose weight and what have you. So, I don't know. I'm going to talk to my doctor. I have lost some weight. Not a lot. You guys probably look at my videos and like, oh my God, look at her stomach sometimes. That is inflammatory. It's not weight gain. Um, I inflame really bad in my stomach. I'm really not fat. <laughs> I really inflame really bad in my stomach and in my muscles. So with you all seeing me now, this one thing, with you all seeing me so on and off, you know, you really 
you can tell that I'm inflaming. You guys see me usually at my worst times when I do my blogging, you know, because that, that gives most awareness. Why would I want you to see me on my great, great days? Like, you know, that's boring. So, you know, people are giving this for weight gain. So I'm going to talk to my doctor. I don't, I could, I could stand to lose some weight. I'm going to be honest. But, you know, I'm going to talk to my doctor if I should increase this a little bit. I don't want to. He's trying to get me off. He's probably going to say no. And it's just terrible. So, I probably won't talk to him about it now that I'm processing it in my head. I don't want any more prednisone. But, you know, guys, this is a steroid. Like, these are steroids. They are meant to decrease inflammation, meant to make you hungry. That's why they're giving it for certain reasons. So that's basically it about um, prednisone. I haven't noticed any other side effects from it because I was never just on this by itself. When I was on it back when I was 15 and now when I'm 25, I never know. I was never on it by itself. So I'm not really sure, but I do know, you know, some little it's and bits about it and about some of the side effects um, that I do have, which I just explained to you all to think of anything else to be honest i really can't like i said this is one of the most basic drugs the first drug you will ever be put on um, when you start out with lupus or any type of inflammatory or probably almost every autoimmune disease so basically that's it for today's video i'm going to continue this series like i said i have like 18 medicines and i definitely go through all of them go through all the um side effects and stuff and basically guys if you have any questions or concerns, I always say consult with your doctor if you notice any side effects because they can adjust your medication, you know, based on the side effects that you have, based on your blood work. You know, they have to look at all that to know what can be adjusted. Do we need to go lower? Do we need to go higher? Are we good where we're at? Do, you know, or do we just need to come off of it, you know, as quick as possible? So, and that's another thing, like, Prednisone can raise your blood sugar, and you can become diabetic. And you can become diabetic. I'm preaching to myself because I am this close to becoming diabetic. I am in a pre-diabetic stage because of how this stuff can increase your sugar levels. Not because you're eating. Steroids can, these steroids can make you diabetic. And I do, I am not trying to have to go on dialysis and my kidneys shut down because I become diabetic because of this. Like, no. So that's one reason why I'm personally trying to come off of it because I'm almost at that state, but it's just so dangerous, honestly, for me right now because my lupus is in control. So, guys, it's a gamble. It's basically a gamble with prednisone, almost with any medication. It is a gamble. You put yourself at a lot of risk when it comes to taking medicine. Like, obviously, I'm trying to manage myself so I can be functional with prednisone, but then again, it can cause diabetes. So I'm taking a big risk taking this stuff daily. And those are just things that you have to talk about with your doctor. And another thing, like, those are another thing that you may just have to pray about. I believe you should pray about all things, but... You should definitely pray about that. And, you know, put all that into perspective. Get everything together. Do your way your pros and cons when it comes to deciding on the medication. And just see where you should go from there. That's all I'm saying. But um, if you have any questions about prednisone, anything that I did not mention, you know, fail to mention in this video, please let me know either in the comments below. I know you guys like writing me personal messages because I guess you don't want your business to be out there. But guys, hey, let's spread awareness. We need to be spreading awareness so we don't have to take stuff like this along with all 20 other medications that we have to take just to be, you know, maintainable. So guys, you know, I'll make a video about that. About how I came out. You know, how I was able to discuss about my medications with others and talk about my illness and just put it out there on the table. Well, anyway, that is all for today, honestly. And I'm looking everywhere. I just, it's weird talking to yourself on the camera. I'm sorry if I'm like overheal, but there. 
But anyway, that's all for my prednisone video. Um, nasty side effects, guys. Very nasty. Um, if you don't have to take it or if they're like, oh, it might work, you know, you know, I, I'm not saying you don't take it, but like, just think about it. Just really think about it. So that's all about this. Like I said, any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, hit me up and we'll discuss it. All right. So you guys have a wonderful day, evening, morning, whatever time it may be for you all and check back maybe, you know, next week for another video on medications for autoimmune diseases, specifically um, lupus as well. All right, so you guys have a great day. See you later.